They may be only seven, but they already know how to topple a king. These second graders in Yerevan, Armenia, are learning to play chess. It's a required subject at the Anton Chekhov school. Chess is great because it trains your mind, she says. It will make us very clever. This boy says he likes the king best because he's the most important chess piece. This girl says she plays against her grandmother at home and she wins every time. Today's lesson is about checkmate in one move. Younger children can pay attention only for short periods, so easy tasks are best, says Samva Misyakian. He's a math teacher and he's taken an advanced course in teaching chess to children. Chess trains logical thinking. It teaches how to make decisions, trains memory, strengthens willpower, motivates children to win, and teaches them how to deal with defeat. It's the only school subject that can do all this. Chess was added to the primary school curriculum last year. The program started with second graders and later will be expanded to older students. For Armenians, chess is in our blood. We have great respect for the game. That's why we didn't have any trouble when we made chess compulsory in school. We're all crazy about chess here. Armenia is a small country in the southern Caucasus, nestled between larger and more powerful neighbors. But when it comes to chess, Armenia is world class. It's a national obsession. Sambatli Putian is a chess grandmaster and the founder of a chess academy for children in Yerevan. He also initiated the project to bring chess to the schools. To help make his idea a reality, he trained many school teachers and wrote textbooks on chess. It's an honest game, that's the most important thing. The children learn how to play honestly right away, how to win with honesty and how to lose, and that's very important in life. He says Armenia should encourage its young people to think big and achieve. Most of the parents who bring their children to the school agree. They say chess is part of their hope for a better future. Hike's mother brings her son to the academy every day. He's 11 years old and the current European champion in his age group. I started playing chess when I was five years old. My father taught me, and I liked it right away. You need a lot of willpower and strong nerves to win. Matches sometimes take a very long time. So the first player to lose his nerve loses the match. Hike's trophy and his gold medals hold a place of honor at home. His family comes from a small village outside Yerevan. Hike is now well known as a chess prodigy. He once even played against the prime minister and won. But Hike's mother doesn't have enough money to accompany him on international tournaments. We know we have an important job to do as parents. We'll do whatever we can to help Hike, to make sure he has a good coach and that he has everything he needs. Today, the school's second graders aren't learning chess, they're learning about history. They're visiting a memorial dedicated to what Armenia calls the genocide that took place in the Ottoman Empire in 1915. Although Turkey refutes this, the mass murder is an unresolved trauma for Armenia and an important part of its national identity. Even young children have been taught about it. The Turks committed genocide against the Armenians, she says. We're here to remember the victims. We remember so it will never happen again, he says.
It's a difficult subject for young children, but the school director says that until Turkey acknowledges that the deportations and massacres were genocide, the memory needs to be kept alive. The children need to know their own history. They have to love their country, and that means understanding our history. Armenia is a country with a difficult history, but it's also a country that takes pride in its traditions, and chess is part of that. Armenians take special pride in the 33 chess grandmasters they've produced over the years. In international chess tournaments, Armenians regularly trounce players from other countries. Our forefathers played chess, now we play chess, and we try to pass along our passion for the game to our children. Our country loves chess. We all do, young and old. Armenia hopes it can export the idea of its chess program. They've already had inquiries from other countries interested in the project. After all, every country needs logical, curious young minds, not just Armenia. <laughs>